I feel that last month or, you know, prior to uh, May, that you had um, this Ace of Swords, this, like, spark of, um, or this, I'm going to cut through some bullshit kind of uh, energy like a uh, super focused, super analytical on something, super like a this thought that had never been thought before, or like super intense kind of of um, thing that came into your life, and you're you're still bringing that with you uh, this month, and you're sitting very comfortably in this emperor position of. Um, this is what I create and this is the structure in which um, everything runs <laughs> Virgo um, I'm in control I've got it all um, under my thumb I have it all figured out I know all the ins and outs of whatever this is and I feel like you're really sitting in a place of power or feeling in a place of power because of uh, whatever this was that came into your life and things have been moving pretty damn quick. And uh, being mindful of what that energy is that you're throwing out there into the world uh, is going to be really important because this is coming up in a challenge position. So um, it may not be moving at all. These are general readings. Um, you could take that kind of consideration and seeing this as a challenge. My, my initial reaction, however, was that because you're sitting in this place of power, that you've been shooting these rockets off like crazy willy-nilly. Not that mindful of where they're going to actually land. So um, I think this is more about becoming much more mindful of setting your intentions. Um, what do I... Uh, what do I intend to happen? Where am I putting my energy being much more um, living in your free will of I get to make a conscious choice. This isn't something that I'm not operating in autopilot. I'm not just um, following the schedule, although the, the emperor does, you know, he is, I feel like he is the ruler of schedule and order. Um, kind of energy but uh, I feel here though with this position that being very mindful and that of where am I putting my energy what do I intend to happen here and being having some control over that um, is extremely important I feel that you're focused on this nine of swords there's this I feel like there's been this um Grave injustice, uh, suffering, uh, needlessly suffering of some sort, and you have been very focused on, and this may be why you're in this energy, because you want to fix this problem, whatever this is, however this uh, reads into your life, this this injustice, this um, suffering for no reason, this just... Uh, uh, this, this card makes my heart heavy, kind of just um, needless violence or whatever. <sighs> You're very focused in on um, uh, coming to a, a solution with this or getting through this in some way. And we have your movement in it up here in your strength. Like you are very good at pulling things together so they can work um, in a way that causes forward momentum. Um, if this if this person didn't have control over these two horses, they they can't get anywhere. But he has to talk both of them into going the same direction, the same time at the same speed, at the same way, you know, like to make him go forward. And um, so this may be with whatever this injustice is, is you're going to have to deal with two opposing groups of people or two opposing ideas or two opposing whatever this is and really use your strength of being able to find that compromise, find that meeting place in the center and um, 
really pull your resources together to help support you in this cause. And again, going back to this, all I can see when I look at this card right now is set, set your intentions. Um, I've probably already said that like 14 times, but I keep going back to it thinking that I'm going to get more from it. And that's all um, my brain is understanding from it right now. And with this chariot movement of pulling the energies together, uh, we land on the Empress. And so we got them here side by side. And she is now, she's the more nurturing side of that uh, structure. She is the, um, she pulls in that creation. She is uh, the creator of, um, bounty uh, bounty bountiful like harvest kind of woo I don't know why I'm having such a hard time Englishing tonight I'll have to bear with me I'm tired I guess um, but that's she can she can pull um, and create all of this beautiful energy and I feel like that's an amazing place to land after seeing this nine of swords of being able to then feel that that powerful again. Um, in your suggestions area, we have the nine of pentacles, and uh, this is a slow moving, um, very focused, uh, but in it kind of energy, like actively engaging with, um, but out of the nights, he's the slowest moving and he is the most connected to uh, earth and um, tangible things. So how how is this coming? Um, this is a lot of emotional stuff here and thoughts, but into the tangible space, what is happening from it? What What is being um, gained in your physical world from this? And you need to know that some of this stuff is going to require some long-term maintenance. You can't just throw the seeds out there and not water them, not take care of them, not um, cultivate your garden, do all of the prep work. Um, this is something that's long-term, again, long-term of... Um, gonna reap what you sow and you gotta put in the work and it's not just going to do it on its own um and you really hope to get whatever this project is what i feel like it's a project i feel like it's and this is it's just so specific to do virgo um in a general reading like this so I apologize if this doesn't resonate with many of you but whoever is resonating with like I really feel like you need to hear this stuff so um I really feel like um there was some kind of really needless act that personally and um, or globally or something has you ready to literally go stand on the front line and fight for someone has you ready to be that actively involved that um, you are standing up for some kind of major human right kind of violation um, whether I mean I don't know are you joining Greenpeace like I don't know who I'm talking to right now but someone this makes sense to someone and um you're really hoping to get to this place where you can create beauty in the world period like you are wanting to so selflessly i believe give um that you and you want to just live in this beautiful harmonious um, Queen of Wands kind of energy is surrounded by beauty and love and passion and um, all of this like very feminine, loving, beautiful energy. Uh, you're hoping that by getting involved in this and um, fighting, standing and um, um, harnessing these beautiful energies that you can get to a place where you can live in this state. And then we ended up down here on the High Priestess and that's Again, um, she 
she knows heaven and hell. She can see through the veil. She can she can see the shadows of the moon. She she understands at such a deeper core level um, all aspects of us, and she has an inner wisdom and a self care that's. Um, beautiful and important and something that a lot of us would strive to be able to hold some of that energy more often um but virgo this is like a really freaking intense reading and like i said if this doesn't resonate with you i get it because i felt like i was talking to one person and whoever you are if this makes sense to you please let me know so i don't just feel like a crazy person um, playing with cards and talking to a camera. <laughs> um, but really, um, I want to pull an oracle card to accompany this and kind of think for a moment. Sorry. Lost in thought and lost in... Oh, geez. Finding a card. And we pulled inner peace. Or sorry, inner truth. Inner peace. I don't know where that came from was looking at it and still read it wrong. And I'm going to use the book just so I have a full understanding of this since I've kind of like been overtaken by this reading. Inner truth. There's a lot of depth to your feelings. You are on your way to understanding your feelings and desires more clearly. The next steps on your path will soon reveal themselves. Stay vigilant to new opportunities that may lead to beginnings of novel projects or assist with current ventures look around you and within you be willing to do the work at the deepest level as you will find jewels of wisdom knowledge and inner voice all waiting patiently to assist you nature's crystals are created deep within the earth go deep and find your own treasures i think that goes beautifully with this this is deep stuff this is like really standing up for some deep, heavy stuff and may cause old wounds to fester, deal with some real emotional stuff, but you're not seeing that in the cards. You're seeing such strong, powerful, beautiful energy, and I, that's super freaking commendable and awesome, and the willingness to stand for injustice stand for those things and i believe that being mindful about how you're spending your energy here and being mindful of progression and how to keep something going don't lose your momentum i believe is what these two cards are saying understand it may be slow and it may be some work um good things aren't don't come easy what's the saying <laughs> told you i can't english tonight um Whole, continuing with it and staying with it um, I, it doesn't look painful it looks like you're like I got this I, I can run this I can do this I, I know this I feel this I can um, continue the forward motion of this and, and stand up and feel in a really good place and both of these inner truths um, High Priestess she definitely has inner truths she has um, ancient knowledge and she has um, just such a deeper connection to who we are stuff that, that our normal thought process can't even begin to comprehend but she's within each one of us and we have moments with her when we're um, able to you know quiet ourselves and um, uh, take time for meditation and take time to just be quiet in our own body and listen to our body and listen to what our body knows naturally without our head in the way. And um, I think this is an absolutely beautiful reading. I've gotten to do some really gorgeous re readings today. I feel amazing about it. Um, I'm sorry it started off so funny. It was because I was trying to be more general for a general reading, but felt this so specifically that anyway, 